Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. <sighs> we gotta reinforce the base, and the best way to do that at this point, since we don't have lithium, is with bulkheads. And we're gonna put a bunch in. I don't know if they'll stay there, you know, until we get some proper reinforcements. But they increase how much uh, how much you can build. I think, well, we can add two more. There's one. Will that be enough? I think so. That just helps. I wanted to is make a add another uh, room onto the base here. I have a list of all the things that I wanted to add. I think I mentioned it the last time. build a regular one and then we can build uh, let's see if we can put this on the end of that yes we can let's see how that looks Ooh, about to go get some more stuff I like it there. Well, we'll see. Now that puts the total base at six. Like I said in the other video, I may change things completely around as I get stuff, you know, just kind of seeing what works. Of course, it uses a lot of resources. Welcome to aboard, to... Captain. I have to get more. Especially like crystals and glass and all that good stuff. section. Now we have to put a ladder so we can get down into the lower levels. Uh, where did I put it? Uh, it's in the hall, I think. Is it up here? No, I mean it's down here. Duh. Alright. Ta-da! Now we can go down. Base design is so tricky because you don't want to spend a lot of time walking between things, but on the other hand, you know, you have to have like enough space to put everything. Uh, there's a lot of big stuff that we're going to be getting. Gotta have a place for it. Uh, eh. Just checking out the, the look of it. see the sea moth. So I think I want to go and take it for a spin because I think we're missing some things for sure 
and the only way we're ever going to find them is if we go exploring. So let's get some food and water and we'll go fill up of these potatoes. So we've got some snacks, we've got some water. Let's put this back so we'll have as much room as we can to bring stuff back. Um, oh, this is my favorite time of day, it's so pretty. This, the, the color, I mean you can see everything, but the colors are so rich. Welcome aboard, Captain. I love it. Alright, um, I think where I want to go is for the last signal that we can reach. And, uh, turn it on. Let's see, I want to look on the blueprints. Scanner room stuff. Um... That's pretty easy. And what else? Oh, reinforcement. We need lithium for sure if we can find it. So let's check out the beacons. Uh, where we haven't gone to yet. Let me see. Um, we can turn on. Uh, is it this one or the other one? Let's see, there was, I think it was that one. Yeah, okay. It's on, let's just go to that one. I don't think we've been to it yet. I can always double check the logs, but I wanna take it out for a spin. I didn't attempt this last time because it was too, too deep. Also need to build a battery. I can't remember if I built it last time or not. All right, close to the the wreckage where we found the sea moss stuff. Um, oh, there's some salt down there also here okay. I gotta do better at getting in this thing <laughs> all right um should go This open field. Or salt. Woolly wart. Just kind of hanging out, testing the controls. Alright, let's go. Let's just go. Let's just go. I'm not sure how deep we can go in this thing. We'll just watch out. Warning, maximum depth reached. 
hull damage imminent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's not cool. That's not cool. Uh, I don't think we're ready for that. Let's try this one. That one's too deep. Let's try this one. We're not ready because we don't have any depth adjust or compensate or whatever. Look what damage it did to the... my little sea moth here. Look, sparks flying off of it. 63%. Something hits it, we're a goner. Um, let's get the repair tool and fix this before we go any further while we're in a relatively safe place. I haven't seen anything nasty. Oh man, I hate it when I hit the wrong button. So gotta get used to it. Right glue. Alright, all fixed. There we go. That's better. Okay, let's go. This is a good place. There's like nothing here but there's obviously cave system all these little buggy things would be flying everywhere tripods or whatever you call them anything down in here before I go to the next place it's weird nothing far away we are. Oh, we're on another red reef. Keep going. Keep going. See, hopefully we didn't take. Vital signs stabilizing. Well, we didn't have enough water. That tells me we won't be here very long, so let's make the most of it. High priority remains. Oh, look at those pods and pods and pods of of reef bags. They're everywhere. Get a little bit closer. know where I am. That's five of those reef bags. Huh. I never ever ever think I am where I am. Never. <laughs> I don't know why my sense of direction underneath the water is so bad. Other than the green stuff is everywhere, the red stuff is everywhere, and those are kind of my visual markers, so 
when I think I'm someplace, I see it again, I'm like, oh, I'm that at that place again, but I'm not. It just kind of rings around it. See? Now we're back in the shallows. That's crazy. I feel completely disoriented. But I haven't ever been here, so I don't think. Alright, let's go. We're almost there. We're almost there. Let's keep going. I'm just nervous. Oh, what's that? Mobile Vehicle Bay. What do I need to do? Welcome aboard, Captain. We may be close to a thermal vent. Although I don't see it. I can hear it. What the heck is that down there? <gasps> oh, shrimps. There's shrimps. And I see new animals. <gasps> awesome. My eyes. No, those are out. Some salt. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terra vehicle signatures. Okay. That must be the signal that we were following. It's just a giant mushroom forest. Fungus. Well, I guess that's what mushrooms are. <laughs> okay. Is there any nasties around here? Any... <gasps> What's that? What's that? Ooh, something to scan. Power transmitter fragment. New blueprint acquired. Oh, thank you very much. New blueprint. This is so beautiful. All the undersides are like orange. What is making that noise? They don't seem aggressive. They're not attacking the ship. Usually the aggressive creatures will attack the sea moth too. They don't care if you're in it or not. Let's pick up that one they want for later, but I'd like to scan that thing. If I can get close enough to one. I don't know if they're shy. <laughs> It's a little shy. Maybe it's the light. Maybe they don't like light. I don't want to get too far from the sea moth. It's so easy to get disoriented. Got a creature egg. I'll be happy when I get the moon pool. If I can start finding the pieces for that. I should really go look for it because that's the where you can make modifications to the sea moth. Sorry. Damn it. <laughs> God. Uh, we'll get control of the field. Jelly Ray. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be 
seem very hostile. Now, if you saw that, that was a panic thinking I had lost it, but I was right next to it. I literally saw it, but didn't see it. That's because it blends in too much. Um, yeah, I need to make it a bright, vivid color so it's easy to spot. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, that's the thing I'm looking for. This is so cool. Make sure there's no predators. Seems okay. There's a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. see anything in here to pick up. Well, other than the PDA, so that tells me that the voice logs needs to be listened to, but there must be some other reason that I'm in this area, so there must be some resource that I need. Um, let's see, here we go, the voice log, let's play it. Live pod launch sequence initiated. Entering planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. Well, okay then. Yeah, little nutter. I wonder what happened to him. Hmm. Okay. Well, the mystery deepens. The jelly rays, pretty freaking awesome. Light sensitivity, yep, that's what I thought. Huh. Oh, they don't run from them, they come to them. Huh, cool. All right, all right, fine. So what did I get? A power transmitter, cheap. Extends the range of a power source. Power source. Power source. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just have to see what that does. Okay. Let's see. I don't know what I want to do next. Do I want to? I, I definitely want to explore here a little bit. This one is huge. It must be the mom of all these other ones. It's huge. definitely want to explore more but I see that my water is going to run low soon so gotta make it quick I just want to get a few samples or, you know and scan a few things before I go we'll come back we definitely will come back because I'm sure there's lots of stuff we don't want to get so let me Get, I gotta move this to another thing. There we go. Boy, this roller mouse thing is such a tedious pain in the butt. I can move these. Um, we'll put this one on the end. So that's what it goes to first. And we'll put that one in there. Okay. Okay. Hope that makes it better. Tree leech. Tree mushroom. Okay. Anything else? I do like it here. It doesn't seem to have any predators. So I have no idea why that pod was 
burst open. I had a fire. But maybe if I hadn't put it out, it would have exploded. Uh-oh, what did I run into? Put a nice little ding in my... Ooh. Look there. Can you see that? It's an opening. So apparently there's a system inside of this thing that we can explore. Which we will. Look at those huge salt deposits. Hmm. Oh, there's little ones too. Need all we can get to make water. Welcome aboard, cool place Captain. to live too. Very cool place to live, but it's kind of dark all the time. So yeah, no. Wow, this is vast. I still don't know what I'm supposed to get here other than salt. Is that another egg? Yeah. Let's pick it up and see here. I do love this little sea moth. No, I have one already, so we can get rid of it when I get out. I don't have room for those big eggs. stuff keeps running into. Hello? Hello? What the hell? It's a spade fish. He keeps running into me. I think he knocked knocked himself silly. He just bang, bang, bang. There's more salt. Let's dump that so we can carry... the sun's coming up. It's getting a little murky. There's another big pile. Anything down in there? Nope. What am I supposed to find? Seek fluid intake. have any more water. Yay! Isn't that awesome? Okay, we have to cut the trip short. Green mm. stuff. It's called tree spawn. Can't scan it though. Like I said, we'll check it out later, but I have to hurry back. My red light's blinking on my water intake. Find home sweet home. Let's go. top of the big one. Wow, it's just right below the surface. Where the heck are we? Okay. Home, home, home. Gotta get some water. We don't have any time to lose because we're gonna have to make it, I think. I hope I have some coral left. Look at this. Wow. Wow.
Almost there. Yep, there's the outskirts. There's the vehicle bay. Right over this. Yep, there it is. There's home. There's home. Hello, excuse me. Beep beep, coming through. Gotta get some water. That's looking pretty good. That's not too bad. But mm, I still am not sure about the design of it. If I like it. I'll come up with the final design as my needs progress. Welcome aboard, Captain. Do we have water? Oh, thank God. We have plenty of water. I don't know why I didn't bring more. Seek fluid intake immediately. Jeez. Vital signs stabilizing. Wow, three bottles of water. I need to eat too. Um, get some eggs put away. Wow, we're getting a nice little collection. We got one, two, five different species. All right, so. Tree mushrooms, analysis are the cooperating, cohabitating, main trunk is species of coral. And the tree leech is fungus growth. Hmm. You can read all about it. They look strange. They look like eyeballs almost. <laughs> Maybe mouse. I don't know. You find new stuff every day. The alien eggs. Can't wait. Cannot wait to do something with that. We need to get a research lab going on and see if we can grow those suckers. Alright. So, eating and getting ready to call it a day for this episode. Uh, Really, really have enjoyed the sea moths so far. Can't wait to get the moon pool. We'll talk to you later. Bye!